if everything is happening now, and we know that in we know that time is a construct made by people because for various reasons, and we know that it is not a definite, right? We used to think like the speed of light was a definite, time is a definite, and we know that it's not anymore because we through more technology, through more research, through more um, scientific experiments and explorations, we know now about the quantum world and how things are happening. How can we, can, we know things can be particles and waves at the same time. At the same time, it can be a solid and essentially a, a vapor, right? How could that be possible? We, we know now that there's many more dimensions than just the three or four that we have been thinking that we live in. This is not just like stuff that you don't need to pay attention to because it doesn't impact you. It imp impacts every kind of thing. It impacts you right now. It's impacting the way that you um, perceive your life as well as how fastly things shift in your life. And I want to I want to kind of just explore this on on a deeper level with everybody now. Um, through a few things. So first of all, we know that you're, you're, you are a spirit. You have a soul. You have a body. Your spirit is completely outside of time. It cannot be confined. It cannot be put in a cage, put in a jail cell. It cannot even be put in a room. It can move. It can go anywhere it wants to. And I don't mean just physically. I mean spatially over time as well. Your spirit can bring other things with it as it does this. How do I know it can? Because your mind, which is part of your soul, can quickly recall uh, an invisible, even mental grocery list, right? You can go to the grocery store, not write any kind of thing down, but you told yourself, oh, I need, you know, I need milk, I need bread, I need eggs, whatever. You go to the grocery store, I can quickly recall it. It's invisible. It doesn't exist in the natural realm, and yet we're able to recall it whenever we want at the right time. You're able to do this with your childhood. You're able to do this with your most amazing days. Maybe for you, that was if you've gotten married, remarried, if you have a, if you had children, whatever, a graduation, a big whatever. You're able to recall really important events to you. And you're even able to like transport yourself back into that memory, aren't you? You can remember how everybody was looking, feeling. You can remember what you were tasting. If you're eating something, how things were smelling, the way that you felt in that moment. That is a time gone by. That is the thing that's already happened. No longer is happening. But you're able to go back there immediately, aren't you? Just whenever you desire, you can, you can just move into that memory. Your spirit can take your soul all the way back there. And it's like you're reliving it, isn't it? What's wild is that it's not just your soul. It's it's not your spirit is not just taking your soul. Do you know it's actually taking your body as well? Because every thought that you have, every thought that you have comes with it, the release of physical chemicals, physical neurotransmitters, physical hormones in your body, it is creating physical structures in your brain. Your brain, the, the neurons that are wired together to recall certain skill sets, um, to recall how to do certain things, to recall memories like your grocery list, all of those are physical structures. There's actually a physical structure happening in your brain. Proteins are being are, are are getting connected together to make physical structures in your brain. It's not just that you're going back and remembering, oh, what a good time that, what an amazing day that was. You're actually physically changing your brain structure as well as your body chemistry. If my spirit is outside of time, is truly outside of time, that means that there isn't a past and there isn't a future. It's all right now. It's all happening now. Just as it is possible for you to do this when you are thinking about something in the past, you can do this with your future. 
the more natural it is for you to recall a memory in your future, the quicker your future collides with your present in the natural, in the natural world.